Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we have a new lizard to add to our reptiles collection. Okay, it is actually a marine iguana, I think, which is very nice. This is our very first marine iguana. So at the same time, we'll take a look at all the different lizards in our collection. Okay, so let's do this. Alright guys, so let's take a look, okay? So right here, we have our very first marine iguana, okay? We got this from Amazon, so pretty happy. It's a very small figure, to be honest. I thought it's a big figure. So let's remove this little tag right here. Okay, it's very, very small. It's gonna be hot, so let me just take my scissors and cut it loose okay if you're using your scissors at home just be careful oops i didn't manage to cut it loose let's try this again yeah there you go all right so right here we have a beautiful little marine iguana so in case that you guys do not know marine iguanas are actually lizards that are able to swim they are able to dive into the ocean to catch fish, which is very, very impressive, I must say. Okay, next, let's have a look at our other lizards in our collection. So what do we have right here? A very beautiful lizard with plenty of thorns. Let's have a look at this. It is basically the haunt lizard. 2010 Safari LTD figure. Let's place this one right here. Okay, in our video on Thursday for Dan's surprise, we will be unboxing the Marmion Chisaurus, which I'm pretty excited about. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this. Guess whether this is a crocodile or alligator. Simple, alligator, because the snot is actually pretty rectangular. If you compare it with a crocodile, you can clearly tell the difference. The crocodile has a very sharp and narrow snout, just like a triangle. Alright, so this is a crocodile right here. Beautiful crocodile. 2006 figure, you can see it's actually a little bit squishy, which is kind of fun. Okay, let's place this one right here. And the alligator over here. Next, let's have a look at another lizard with plenty of thorns. And it has one very, very cool part, cool body part that not every single lizard has it. It is basically the thorny dragon. And this is actually like, like a fake hit. They call it a false hit. So when it feels threatened, it will just hide its head underneath its body to just reveal the false hit. Kind of cool. Next. We have a crocodile with one of the narrowest snout, I would say. Definitely the thinnest. We have the Indian Garrier. Alright, beautiful one. I have seen them live in front of me at my local zoo, which is known as River Safari. Next up, we have one of my most favorite lizards of all time. Komodo dragons. They are like dinosaurs. Yep, I love dinosaurs, which is why. I love Komodo dragons. They can, be, they can be found on Komodo Island, which is in Indonesia. And this is a 1997 Safari LTD figure. They are very, very fast runner. Okay, they can actually catch up and you know, give its prey a bite. And they will just basically wait for them to die because their bite, the, the bite is actually poisonous. Next, we have an alligator baby. So just now, I've shown you guys an adult alligator right over here, and you can see this is the baby. Yep, the baby, the babies actually have stripes across their body, which is kind of cool. And now we have an iguana right over here. Beautiful one. So just now, I've shown you guys marine iguana, and this one, it's an iguana. Very beautiful one. Fruit neck li lizard right here with a huge frill. The mouth wide open, very very beautiful. Okay, it's from Science and Nature. Here's another one. 
they can actually open the fruit to sort of like intimidate the predator or maybe prey, I'm not too sure, or humans, <laughs> you know, wh whichever comes in contact. So this fruit is actually closed, you know, but once they feel the need to open up the fruit to make themselves look bigger, they will do so. Very nice. Fruit neck lizard. This is actually from Collecte, and this one is from Science and Nature. Gorgeous stuff. And this one, guess, crocodile. Triangular snout, right here. Komodo dragon, my favorite reptile. It's a huge lizard, very, very huge. All right. Next, another one. And this one is from Safari LTD. So I do have a small collection of Komodo dragons. I love them. Right here, we have alligator. You can see the snot is very rectangular. It's very straight right here, except this part is just a little bit curved. Yep, this is a white alligator. Gorgeous one. 1997. And here we have a very small species of, you know, crocodile which is known as caiman. Check this out. The name is actually written right below. Caiman. 2019 Safari LTD figure. And here we have the bearded dragon. Yes, looks very nice. And this one is actually from Safari LTD as well. 2012 figure. You can see it has plenty of spikes right over here which makes it looks like it has a beard. Okay, here we have another white reptile. And this is a white crocodile. Beautiful figure, you can see it looks very realistic. Highly detailed, the paint scheme is amazing. You can even find some gloss in the inside of its mouth to create a wetness in the mouth. Very beautiful figure. When you see such highly detailed and accurate figure, you know it is actually from Papo. Yeah, I know Papo they create insane figures, very very beautiful figures. And here, this one I have no idea what it is. It looks like it is definitely not a thorny dragon because it doesn't have the false head. It does not look like the bearded dragon as well because it doesn't have the beard. So perhaps, I'm thinking it could be this one right here. I'm not too sure, it could be this or it could be a totally different animal, different reptile. So I have no idea what this is. So if you guys know what this reptile is, do comment down below. Here we have an American alligator. Yep, the snout is kind of... um tapered I would say but it's an alligator and you can see that they actually walk with their feet I mean with their legs very very how do you call this like very it's not like flat on the sides like you know the usual ones that you see they actually stand very upright here's another crocodile beautiful one Here's another one. This one, it's a crocodile. Yep, and it's from Science and Nature. Quite a nice one, but definitely not as accurate as what you can find from Papo, that's for sure, or Mojo. This one is actually from Mojo. Okay, next we have a crested gecko. Beautiful one, you can see. That's very beautiful, big eyes. Okay, and a very long tail. And you can see the tail is actually covered with some very nice patterns. Okay, and speaking of nice patterns, I don't think you can find one which is as nice as this. Really colorful. Colored lizard. It looks very realistic, I must say. Check this out. Colored lizard right here. 2017 Safari LTD figure. Very beautiful. It has stripes, it has spots. You're able to find orange, green, turquoise. You flip it over. You know, this part is um, you know, is like white and cream colored at the same time. Looks really beautiful. 
Next, we have a saltwater crocodile, I think. Oh, it's a Nile crocodile. I beg your pardon. So you can see the two legs are upright. I think it's trying to... I'm not too sure. Maybe basking in the sun. Very nice. Or it could be like feeding on some food. Could be. Next, we have a veiled chameleon. And it's a baby. Yeah, veiled chameleon baby. Okay. And here we have another crocodile. I think this was actually donated to ours by a dancer Farian from Schleich. Beautiful figure. This one is a huge one. Veiled chameleon, you can see it has the tongue outstretched and it's attached to a butterfly, which is his food. So you can see this veiled chameleon is fit with different colors. Blue stripes, light blue, dark blue, green, light green, orange really gorgeous looking very very gorgeous looking yeah you can see the eyes have some really nice patterns on it and it has a very long and sticky tongue this is an alligator this is another soft and squishy crocodile from safari ltd very nice very soft and squishy so these two are actually the same, just that they are painted with different colors. And here we have our frill neck lizard that's able to run. Beautiful stuff. We got this quite recently, but we broke the cover right here because we weren't able to get this one out. Yeah, we weren't able to get it out. I have no idea why. So, yep. So too bad. It's such a pity. We actually broke this. Because we weren't able to get this part out. Which is very sad. Yeah, it's very sad. The screw is stuck right there. And this one can run really fast. Yeah, this is a... Um, not too sure what this is. It's just a lizard. Yeah. This toy is just a lizard. And here we have a horned chameleon. Beautiful one. You can see it has two horns right in front. Very beautiful one. 2017 collective figure. Yep, so these are basically my lizards collection. My lizards and um, crocodiles. Basically the reptiles collection. Hopefully you guys like it. Yep, so this is actually my latest edition. My first, my one and only marine iguana. Alright, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.